Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. We have Seven of Cups in reverse. So if you were an option to your person, whether we're talking about there were other romantic partners, people involved, or they couldn't decide if they should put effort in and be bold and brave or be fearful, you know, any kind of option, I feel they're no longer indecisive. And also in this deck, if you have a look at, um, so the woman is in the shop buying things, she looks confused. However, the other woman behind the counter looks she's looking at us as if to say it's quite funny that the other you know the customer is so confused because we all know which one she's going to choose so i feel like the woman who owns the shop who's behind the counter could be spirit in this sense saying to your person it's kind of funny and sweet that you're so confused because we all know in the end that you're going to choose you know this option here and the option is you or if it's you know they're choosing fear over love spirit saying we know in the end you're going to make it you know you're going to get there but okay fine we'll let you go on this journey first we have the nine of pentacles in the reverse we have justice reversed libra energy we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse okay lots of reversals there could be some blocked energy here let's keep going with your person's thoughts and feelings they could be saying they don't feel like the situation is just with you they have these romantic um, messages they want to send they have these romantic thoughts and feelings that they're not able to share that doesn't feel right we have the fall here they want to have a new beginning um if they got themselves involved in something it's like they want to be free and single from that if you are out there being in this nine of pentacles energy you know um doing well being happy being perfectly content they kind of want to um pull you out of that not in a negative sense you know they don't want you to feel terrible they're saying i i can you please come out of um hiding <laughs> no not that you're hiding but it's almost okay say you're this woman here you're sitting down you're reading your book you're drinking your wine it's like they're knocking on your front door saying can you come out of the garden please and, and let me in i want to you know i want to be around you i want to enjoy your company i know you're happy doing your own thing but can i have some of your time please Okay, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Four of Pentacles. I feel that something for your person is coming to an end. It feels a bit difficult. It doesn't feel like it's seamless and it's happening overnight. And it feels a bit um, a bit clunky, a bit messy. It's not um, something they can just click their fingers and it's done. So I don't know if it involves other people or contracts um, or changing a behavior or a pattern that they have invested in for years you know that kind of a thing but what i can see is they might be coming across as a bit closed off but at the same time i think they're holding on to you um let's see what have they got you know with this four of pentacles what is it that they're holding on to what's in that chest okay let's see I know we don't have the Page of Swords, at least not yet, but I do feel that they're keeping an eye on you because they know they've seen you um, they've seen you doing well in some way, whatever that means, whether it's money, your appearance, um, you just seem happier, you just seem, you know, really content within yourself. Okay. We have the, yeah, the tower in reverse. We have the sun. We have the six of pentacles. There's a real feeling that your person's saying, it's not fair that I am stuck over here. Um, but to be fair, I think they did create that situation, whatever it is. When I want to be with you, you are the sun to me. You are my happiness, but you are over there. Um, I just want to be with you. So with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they could almost be saying to the universe, why aren't you helping me? You know, why is it everything I'm trying isn't working? Or why why do I feel stuck? Why can I not see the way out? The thing is, the cat representing their intuition knows that the window is open. Maybe your person thinks the door is locked. Maybe it is, but they can go out the window. But if they go out of the window, they cannot take the chest with them, which represents maybe um, finances they've built up, the home perhaps they've invested in. You know, they're going to have to leave something behind. So, you know, will they do? that is the question um what else okay in terms of other signs we've got leo aries aquarius scorpio okay so basically very focused on the fact that you are the one they want to pursue here but but yeah a bit of a feeling like you know it's unfair something's unfair look at this page of cups reverse ace of wands they wanting to tell you um how they feel i don't actually think anything is stopping them but themselves
Okay, so let's have a look then at potential blockages, as that's where we seem to naturally be right now. Okay, what's blocking this person's spirit, as far as they're concerned? What's blocking them? The high, see, high priestess in reverse, they don't have this connection to that inner voice right now. Six of cups in reverse, something to do with their past. We have the king of cups, four of um, wands in the reverse. So yeah, it's this stoicism, it's holding all of these feelings in that's preventing them from moving forward with you. And also something in their 3D reality that needs to be released um, or cut out. I don't so much think it's something being released. I think that um, it involves other people in one way or another, one form or another. And it's, it's not simply saying, I release you goodbye. I don't know that this other energy will want to go. So it might be a bit, as I said, a bit, a bit rough, actually, a bit of um, a difficult separation, ending, transition, whatever it is. Okay. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. So I wonder if there's been pain here, heartbreak, confusion. And one of the things they're stuck on is, well, how do they come forward? How do you both move past that point? Can there be healing? And logically, they can't figure out the answer. But that's because that, that's not where the answer is. You know, it's, it's almost like they know the answer, but they're overthinking it. They just intuitively understand what needs to happen. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The magician in the reverse. Yeah, Gemini energy. But in reverse, the magician is someone who is faking it. Um, someone who's wearing a mask. Also someone who's pretending to be more empowered than they are. So whatever this other situation is in the 3D that your person is needing to let go of, um, they're wearing a mask within that situation. They might be pretending they're happy, that they love whatever they're doing or whoever this other person is, if it's a person, um, that they're content, but they're actually not. It's a mask. Okay, Knight of Wands in the reverse. So this person, if they could have their wish, if they could have their way, they would come rushing in in a very hot and passionate way, but their intention would be maybe even to move in with you, to live with you, you know, the Four of Wands, to to just have this full-blown commitment with you, and it would happen very quickly. Again, if, if they could have their way. So, what's on the back? Justice. I think this could be this frustration your person is feeling, um, maybe feeling that you are content without them, that they've got themselves into something that they wish they hadn't have. Um, it might be karma, balancing out depending on on maybe what happened in your connection previously with them it could also be even if it's karma from maybe a past life for them it could be that they're learning something in this situation maybe they're learning to be very authentic through not being authentic and and you know finding themselves in a very miserable miserable position and realizing it's on them to get themselves away from that Okay. So let's have a look then at their highest hopes and then we'll have a look at what action are they likely to take at this time. I think your person is very, very good at wearing masks, at almost um, morphing themselves into who they think they need to be around certain people. Um, and it's convincing to the other people, but of course your person doesn't feel seen or valued for who they are because they've never really shown who they are. Um, I just intuitively feel that you know who they are. They know that you know. So of course, of course that energy is something that, that they want to come back to. Um, they might be kicking themselves actually if they chose a fake situation over your connection in the past. Even if we're talking about, you know, um, they've been faking a version of themselves to keep their parents happy. Um, you know, it doesn't just have to be a karmic in a romantic sense. Could be though. You know. I'm seeing it's not a secret here. You know whatever this other energy is. Okay, so can you please show us this person's highest hopes for the connection between them and my viewers? So their highest hopes, please. We have the lovers in reverse. We have the seven of swords. Okay, so we have more Gemini energy. I feel their highest hope, honestly, is to undo 
I'm hearing disastrous, a huge and disastrous decision that they made in the past. That's how they're viewing it. They made a, a really, a really bad decision um, in the past and they really want to be able to undo it. This decision was made from a very low vibrational place of fear. You know, maybe I'm going to push you away before you discover who I really am and reject me. You know, that kind of a thing. It could have been something that started over a petty argument. Um, and now for them, whatever decision they made has grown into something that's, that's actually become something they have to consider, you know, a factor here. We have the Queen of Swords reversed. We have the Five of Cups, Six of Cups, sorry. We have Strength, Leo Energy, Six of Swords. Yeah, I think in the per in the past, in the past, <laughs> in the past, your person made a decision based on ego. Um, and that decision pulled them away from you. And I think they, they acted like, I don't care. I'm not turning around. I don't miss you. I don't care if you call my name. You know, I can't be convinced to stay. Um, and they regret it. Wow. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. And we have the Two of Swords. So they're wondering how you feel about them. You know, Queen of Swords in reverse. Are you upset with them? Are you angry with them? They could be projecting onto you and saying, well, if you had done the things to me that I've done to you, or if you had made the decision to me regarding me that I made, I would be upset with you. So I'm logically assuming you may not want to hear from me. Um, you might not be my biggest fan right now. But Two of Swords. All of these fears, doubts, worries are coming from within. They're not necessarily based on what they're seeing from you. You know, if they were able to look more objectively or, or what you're showing them. Okay. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reversed, please. Um, Spirit is telling me they also feel like you, you possibly at times could have a sharp tongue or maybe you say things that cut straight to the, you know, to what whatever's going on like you're not going to sort of um beat around the bush here you just you say what needs to be said and maybe it's quite alarming um so they're a bit nervous of that we have the magician which yeah is um mercury energy so we're talking communication here so they feel you're incredibly empowered you're you have everything you need to make anything happen that you want so a weird a weird image i'm seeing like harry potter <laughs> you know when they in harry potter when they have jewels um and they, you know, need to come up with whatever spells most appropriate and create whatever needs to be created to, to sort of to win. That's how, kind of how they see you. That if an argument was to happen and there was a duel that was going to happen between the both of you, um, they wouldn't win. They wouldn't stand a chance. But the thing is, they're coming from the wrong energy. This energy of, of you know, that, that they might be entering into a fight, that they need to be on guard. But... I think this is based on something that happened a while ago. I'm sure you've moved past this. If you're in this nine of pentacles energy, obviously you're not every day investing loads and loads of energy and effort into being cross about something that happened before, you know? And even if there's a need to talk about what happened, I don't think it's going to be in an argumentative way. Okay, so two of swords. We have the sun in reverse. You see how they're not seeing things clearly? So more Leo energy there. But the sun is so strong that even if it's hidden behind the clouds, it's, it still shines through. You know, we still know when it's the daytime. We don't think it's nighttime just because it's a cloudy day. So somewhere within them, they know. They know that this connection still exists. The Six of Cups is a card of feeling like this person is your home. You know, that's how they feel about you. And they're being encouraged to trust in that feeling. Not their ego-based worries, you know, or what if there's an argument and you say things to me that hurt me. You know, that, that's not going to happen. You're not trying to hurt this person. Okay, so let's have a look at what action they're likely to take at this time. Okay, Spirit, can you show us what action is this is this person likely to take towards my viewer at this time? 
we have the two of wands so keeping an eye on you thinking about the future they could have with you asking themselves am i brave enough to step out there you know to venture into the unknown to go on on this new adventure and um to reach for something that feels like it would make me happier, something that's more exciting. I think they're so bored, they're so dissatisfied, to say the least, with the current life that they're living. Um, I think they, they miss you a lot. They feel that there's a lot of distance between you and it could be actual geographical distance, but even if you live, you know, the next street over, they just feel that there is, there is so much distance between you. I guess maybe, you know, you might not be talking right now at all, or if you are, just scratching the surface or they miss how you used to be together something like that so i think that yeah missing you six of swords so this is someone who does again regret the past regrets pulling away from you but this also shows me they're working hard to move themselves into a better position now and the six of swords for me can often be a card that talks about a literal journey you know getting in the car um, packing your stuff up and, and going somewhere so if they're living in a home that they're not happy with they may be working on trying to to move out we have the seven of wands in the reverse and we have the six of cups okay good so they're moving in the right direction in this card the six of wands we don't know if there's anyone down there um sorry seven of wands um we don't know if these sticks are just resting against the side of this rock so your person's going to start asking themselves am i projecting and the answer is yes you know are you the viewer um geared up for a fight with them they're going to start asking themselves this or Am I living in the past? Have I just been holding on to something? Am I um, fearing worst case scenarios? And this Six of Cups that I was just talking about, that feeling is going to get stronger and stronger. And this is a card of reconciliation. So I think the intuitive knowing they have about you in this connection is going to start overpowering their fears. I was also saying the Six of Wands with the Seven of Wands, so overpowering their ego as well. You know, if they've not been wanting to be the first one to reach out or something like that. Okay, so action, ace of <laughs> ace of wands in reverse. It's very clear to them which of these wands, which of these paths they want to choose. It's the new, but um, there is some fear. We have ten of wands reverse. Yeah, this is really good. Whatever's been burdensome, whatever's been a heavy weight to carry, and has included, involved wearing this mask, that's the thing they're trying to get away from and putting effort into. We have the tower in reverse, more Scorpio energy here. So telling themselves or realising to themselves, yes, I've been imagining tower moments that haven't even happened, that may never happen. And look how this person is falling from the tower with their mask on. Oops, trying to get that without the glare. And the Page of Pentacles, fantastic. So as we move through this spread, we're seeing the evolution really of your person's thought process, you know, missing you, being pretty inactive, feeling a bit sorry for themselves, then saying, okay, well, let me just start somewhere. I'll start with trying to get myself out of my difficult 3D situation or, so that I can feel better when I approach you so that, um, you know, I'm, I'm ready to move forward. Then we have them saying, okay, I've been working on that. Let me think about reaching out now. Is it going to be as scary as I thought? Probably not. And then we have them actually reaching out with some kind of an offer here. I think this is something they already have because you see how this person is pondering this coin, this pentacle, and they might be saying, hmm, should I give it? Shouldn't I give it? And I feel like they're moving towards, yes, being in a place to give this. Let's see what this might be. Um, it can vary for each of you. It could be communication, some kind of acknowledgement. It could be an actual gift. I just heard for someone it could be a child. So um, I guess that's for those of you who've, who've had a relationship with this person and maybe it got to a point where one of you wanted children, one of you didn't, and you couldn't compromise on that. So it ended or something. Maybe they've had a change of heart. But that, that's probably for like one person. Okay, so page of pentacles, please. What's this? King of pentacles in reverse. So this is for them. Whatever this is, they're saying this is the beginning of us being in a commitment. I told you, when they come towards you, they want commitment very quickly, you know, almost like the next day. Um, but they're saying, well, I'm not in a position to, to be the king just yet, but let's make a start. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse, and we have the Magician in the reverse. Hmm, this Magician in the reverse, I don't like it. 
This person doesn't need to be, um, they don't need to wear a mask with you. They don't need to try and manipulate you into liking them or loving them. You already do. This is like they're falling back on past behaviors because they get scared. But I think you'll see through this. If you do, I would encourage you to call them out on it. In a, you know, not in a like um, an angry way, but um, yeah, you don't you don't need this kind of energy here. We have the hanged man. We have the page of wands, queen of wands in reverse. We have the star on the back, Aquarius again. So they're definitely being guided and led towards you. They feel this is a very divine connection. I just feel. Um, if they reach out and you start talking, there there might be the inclination to slip back in, into wearing a mask, trying to be what they think you want them to be, because that's what they've always done. That's what feels safe. Um, so just, just you know, I guess be aware of that um, and let them know, can you please stop doing that? <laughs> um, I, I know that you don't really like... Um, I don't know, if you like something and they're pretending they like it too and you're like, are you kidding me? I, I know you don't like that, stop being silly. It's fine, you don't have to like all the same things I like. Um, I, don't, I don't see it being in a really malicious way, but it's definitely not an energy that you kind of want to continue. Um, so, I think that's it for today. So I'm going to leave this here. I don't think we'll have an extended. On Wednesday, for the messages reading, my plan is to do um, a three option pick a deck for that, which um, should be fun, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Take care and hopefully see you again soon. Bye.